Hi guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today we are going to be talking about a couple of issues that SketchUp artists do have and also a couple of issues that Twin Motion artists have. For the SketchUp artists, this is specifically towards the fact that you make a SketchUp model, you bring it into Twin Motion, but you don't know how to update this, especially when you've moved things around. Then probably the next thing which you always do is to bring back the model directly inside again and start recalibrating all of this. Today we're going to find very simple solutions to this and also talk about ways that you can prevent things like rain and other things to actually penetrate directly into your model. These questions are long requested questions and that is why I'm doing this video today. Other apps like um, Revit and Akikad, they all have a live link from their, you know, from the DCC app over to Twinmotion, but we don't have that feature in SketchUp. And so there is a couple of questions just to clarify, you know, how can you update your SketchUp model in Twinmotion since it doesn't have the live link, you know, for, for, for SketchUp. And so we are going to address that real quick. Here I have a very simple model. You know, and you can get any of these fantastic models from the Wayhouse. It's actually a great place to, you know, get models you can work with. And so what we're going to do is just simply have this model here and save it. I've saved this model already just to save it one more time so you guys can see. And the next thing you're going to do is to fire up Twin Motion. All right. So with Twin Motion open up, the next thing which you would want to do is just to simply hit import and import the geometry you know there is two ways you can import either landscape or geometry but we're going for geometry and i'm only going to select this that says living uh space because it's exactly the the model which we're working with here so i'm going to just simply import this and click on ok we'll let twin motion do its magic you know uh, spend some time to read both the file the data and all that stuff directly in now the cool thing with twin motion just in case you're new to twin motion is that if you choose to make something glass in SketchUp and you drag that file directly into Twinmotion, it gives you the ability to actually convert that thing to pure glass. All right. Okay. So now we have our model loaded directly inside here. What we can do is just simply click here, directly here, right click and zoom to selection so that we can see where our model is. All right. So if you want to see how you can work with basic stuff with uh, twin motion, of course, there are videos in the channel that you can, you know, use to learn how you can easily walk around twin motion and get all this sweet, sweet rendering happening in real time. All right. So we have our model here. And the big question is what if we realign this model and we want to update this model or if we make uh, huge changes and we want to update this model. How can we do this? All right, so there are two ways you can do this The first way is you can right click here and use the relocate button So just in case you have another model that you want to position exactly in the same place You can use the relocate button to relocate another model and get it there or you can use the refresh button So we're going to actually put this to test by moving this model somewhere very far. So let's say we want to realign this model somewhere like here and actually let's play around and actually rotate this model by 90 degrees, you know, just to put ourselves to that test. And then I'm going to just simply rotate and look around. All right. So our model is far away from where it was somewhere here. Okay. Another thing which we want to do just to make sure that things don't, you know, jump up and down. So I'm going to pick up this black gum and position this one here. And then the next thing I'm going to do is to actually make multiple copies. And if you want to check out how you can do all of this stuff, you can find these in the channel. So how I actually made this is by holding down shift, clicking and dragging. And that way you can make multiple copies. Other things I would like to do is just to actually get this a little bit out of that place because I think it's invading our, our building there. So I'm just going to position this a little bit out. And yeah, and, and I think we have this, let's actually move this a bit forward. Okay. So we have this very cool, nice looking stuff. So how do we update our model? We're going to go back to SketchUp just to see, and I will simply create something very simple. I'm just dragging this rectangle here, press P on the keyboard to push this all the way out. And I'm going to save this. All right. So we're going to save this 
and see what happens if we hit refresh if it's going to take it back to where it was in the beginning somewhere here or if it's still going to keep it there so what we're going to do is go back to the import and simply hit refresh allow twin motion to do all of its magic you know do all of those cool massaging and getting this file directly where it should be and boom you have it here all right everything the same way you left it directly there and if you notice this is uh all the way up is because by default here in sketchup it's also all the way up so i'm just going to match this to this point and other things i would like to do you know just to play around this is let's actually push this a little bit inwards and let's test if this would also respect uh things like insertions all right so i'm just going to do a very simple insertion here and let's get this all the way to this part and maybe all right maybe we can just simply choose to make some cuts around here just to play around with this and see what we can get and i'm also going to you know position this directly here okay and with this done can we also try out textures yes we can try out textures if we press b on our keyboard we can get um, the bucket and with the bucket we can just uh, actually let's go ahead and pick some stones and you know add stones everywhere just to just to get a feel of this you know just to see if this is going to work that's why we're trying all of these things all right because we've tested the first one and it seems to be working perfectly fine let's just go ahead and tame it a bit more to see if this would actually work all right so i'm going to click on file and say save so with file and save happening i would jump back into twin motion and then we're going to hit this button one more time so what it's going to do is to essentially read the sketchup file refresh the entire thing still save your data position save the textures that you've added save every single thing but the lighting and all of those baking and boom you have your file directly here so this is also a great way to you know uh, move your things from one place to another and it doesn't matter whether you have a live link or not what matters is once you bring this file directly in here especially for sketchup you can always use this refresh button to get it running and if you want to change what you have here let's say there is another model that you've made and let's and we will like the entire positioning or you've gone ahead to add some very nice looking weather effect and you don't want to you know recreate these weather effects again and for the floor let's say you've gone ahead to select the floor and or the ground and you've made some very amazing looking ground and you don't want to go ahead to redo all of these things over and over and over again you just want to replace the model you like your settings the way they are you can still open up this file directly here right click and use the relocate button to actually relocate a new file that you can use right you can use it to relocate a new file and the file will still maintain the same position it will still maintain the same weather condition that you have directly here and that will be about it and also speaking of which i think this is also a good time to actually answer a second question which is from the guys that are actually doing a bit of rendering with with, with um with rain all right so for the guys using the rain to render you kind of said that whenever it's raining your model actually gets the rain directly inside now the answer to that question is simple your model would only get that happening if you have back face turned on and if you want to check out more about back face turning on i think you should check the video in the channel where i talked about i think it's in one of the frequently asked questions so directly inside here you can notice we do not have raindrops coming in the reason is because here is a solid here is also a solid so it prevents the rain from traveling in the, on the only rains you see directly there is the rain that is traveling through this tiny place all right so how you can prevent this when you're making your sketchup model is this now once you make a sketchup model like this so let's say we have this is our sketchup model try as much as possible to add some depth and even if you add some depth from the wrong point all right 
and from the wrong point i mean if your faces are reversed so let's just go ahead and reverse this face something like this you would probably have issues okay so this is an i mean these are ways that you can solve your problems especially if you are bringing your model directly from uh, sketchup or any app into uh twin motion so with this i think i have done some justice to a couple of questions that you guys have asked and also if you have more questions like this or maybe there are things you would like you know you like me to cover in the channel that is related to both twin motion or maybe sketchup or maybe any other rendering app i would like to hear those things in the comment section below and if you like this video you know what to do hit the like button turn on notification and don't forget to subscribe if you're new here and also turn on notification and until i see you guys again with a tutorial update frequently asked questions like this tutorial tuesday free friday review tips and tricks things like this peace